The Renaissance is the period in Europe after the Middle Ages. It was really all about people and how they could change the world. Do you recognize any of them? The Dark Ages hung on strong and didn't want to stop. It wasn't until the Black Death came along that the Europeans were finally shaken up. They were truly depressed. It was bad enough that they had recently admitted failing the Crusades. They felt like God had turned against them. What really set it off though was the fall of Constantinople in 1453. It had stood as the main Christian city for over 1,000 years but then was conquered. Renaissance means rebirth. These negative events served as a wake-up call to Europeans. They could either just keep whining and blaming God or they could try to do something about it. Yay! They decided it was time to return Europe to the power it once had. They remembered how during the Roman Empire Europe dominated the world. Very simply, people thought anything from Rome was good and anything from the Dark Ages was bad. The Renaissance then covers roughly from 1400 to 1700 AD. There are no real set beginning and ending dates. This was a time when the people of Europe focused on the classic art and literature from the Greeks and Romans. Many Roman and Greek books, amazingly, had been found in Arabia during the Crusades. Studying these books led to new ideas and ultimately great discoveries in many areas of knowledge. We are going to begin with economics. Trade played a huge role in the beginning of the Renaissance. During the Dark Ages China had been closed off. They wanted nothing to do with the Europeans. However, when the Mongols took over China they reopened the Silk Road and trade began anew. As always happens, as the people exchanged products they also exchanged ideas. These new products and ideas gave Europe a new perspective. Here's an interesting timeout question. What do you think about it? Chances are you'd talk about the food, the clothes, inventions like gunpowder, and almost definitely, the Great Wall. Yay, story time. This is Marco Polo, yes, just like the silly pool game. Marco traveled to China as a young man along with his dad who was a trader. The journey was very long and difficult, but must have been full of adventure. As you can see from the map above, Marco was gone from Europe for over 30 years. It took him years to get there but only a few months to get home since he went by sea. When Marco returned to Europe he ended up in jail. Luckily for historians, his soulmate was a writer. After Marco told him all the incredible stories from his travels the guy wanted to write them down. He wrote and illustrated a book which made its way around Europe. Marco's diary introduced the people of Europe to amazing things like paper money and, as he called it, a log that burns forever. Interestingly, Marco never mentioned the Great Wall. This has led some historians to question whether he actually made it to China at all. Marco then is an Italian who traveled to somewhere in the East in the 1200s. Whether or not he truly made it to China doesn't matter, what he wrote shocked the people of Europe. They believed the writings completely. The people had no idea such things even existed. They'd never seen or heard of gunpowder. Hearing about all these new things caused the Europeans to question why their stuff was so lame and China's was so good. By seeing what the rest of the world had been doing it made it clear how much the Europeans had lost. Once again, instead of just giving up and complaining they decided to do something about it. They were inspired to invent and to create. They were inspired to learn once again.
Now, a quick geography section. The Renaissance began in Italy, you know, the boot country. Italy had three major advantages that made it ideal for new growth. First, because it was located on the Mediterranean it had a regular flow of travelers and traders. There were always new ideas coming through. Secondly, unlike most of Europe which lacked technology of any sort, Italy still had many leftover roads and buildings from the Roman Empire. Lastly, Italy was located directly on a number of trade routes which kept money flowing in regularly. The Renaissance specifically began in Florence. Then, just like the Black Death, it spread to Northern Europe, 